Hey, today we are on another tour through Mexico City and we took the road less traveled. Iztapalapa neighborhood, uh, even our local friends say like, oh, why, why do you want to go there? Probably you shouldn't go there. And we wanted to see how the real local life is. So we booked a tour on Airbnb that was advertised as a Stopalapa tour and ride the cable car about this neighborhood. It was super cool. We, while the emotions are fresh, we were just walking home from the tour. I decided to uh, film this. So we met our tour guide and the rest of the group in a central CDMX area and we took a subway to Stopalapa Bureau. First stop of our tour was a local museum that tells us everything about Iztapalapa, about culture, about history, rituals, traditions, what it's famous for, what's happening there today. I'll give you a brief peek of what we saw there, starting with this old ritual they used to have here back in the day. This is the new fire ceremony, okay? Ceremonia del Fuego Nuevo, new fire ceremony. What was this about? It was a ceremony that took place every 52 years. The guys that live here in this valley, they're also part of the Aztecs, but they were not the Mexicans. The Mexicans were the founders of the city. Moving forward, we learned a lot about local agriculture, what kind of flora and fauna is native to this land. And as you keep going, you start getting into more contemporary setups, like this room is uh, basically a map of Iztapalapa, which consists of 16 neighborhoods. Yeah, right here, drops of water that represent the rain and the here you're making your way through the corridor with contemporary street photography and then you get to know about some of the biggest cultural events Iztapalapa is famous for the first one we saw was the carnivals of Iztapalapa hundreds thousand people attending every time and they're all dressing up having fun seems like and the next one is huge and world known so it's a tradition they do it every day every year even in the covid times they did it without attendance with less acting people and by training but they did it so what is this about is the biggest open community theater in the world the biggest open community there in the world. And now you will see how massive it is. With it. Iztapalapa holds one of the biggest in the world and the oldest in Mexico passion place, which is a theater slash performance of recreation of biblical scenes like Jesus' resurrection and other ones. It goes for the whole week and attracts millions of people from around the world. It's a big event and it's a huge deal for local communities. You can Google some interesting stories about it by typing Passion Place Tapalapa. There is more in the museum about contemporary life of local people. These are paintings by local artists I liked, I took photos of. And in the end, on top of the building, you can see um, the area, neighborhoods around. Little panoramic views for you. Yeah, it's kind of... Could be both, could be both. I know this is clear, but these days have been really cloudy. So, and... After the museum, on our way to Subway, we stopped by local bakery, got little snacks, little pastries, and I am showing you once again Subway because I am so amazed how clean and nice looking Subway is, like think of New York Subway, uh, any station, no matter how far from the central locations you go, they're always really clean and nice looking, and I always felt safe too. Now we are getting to the highlight of our trip. This is second cable car in Mexico City. It opened only a year ago, but they already received registered Guinness records for being the longest cable car in the world, which is 10.6 kilometers. Now, 
Yay! Can that be scary earthquake? What is it? Scary! Now, it feels you can uh, start to appreciate a lot of murals. Yeah, that's amazing. So, cable car was made mainly for the public transportation purpose. Uh, it is way more ecological solution than ground transportation. Also, locals are saying that um, time of their commute to work and back cut in twice now, and it's actually cheaper than ground transportation as well. And of course, being the longest one in the world now, it's attracting many tourists and the city is working hard to bring even more of them to make the area more popular one of the programs they started it's all these murals you can see passing about them so three sites benefit from it artists house owners and the city the city gets more money from tourists artists are getting paid by the city to paint those murals and and householders get their houses looking pretty The cable car has seven stops overall and we are taking off on one of them to see another cool cities project they're doing for local communities. It's called Utopia Project. So Utopia Project is mayor's office initiative that was created to increase education level of local communities and bring arts, culture, sports for free, all kind of classes and activities to bring up the well-being of Istapalapa communities. Utopia, same Utopia Center that has, four of them have an airplane like this. What is the airplane? The airplane is a public library and a computer center. Here they are offering a lot of courses for free to the people. No? Children, uh, teenagers, young people, adults, elderly, everyone. Uh, courses like uh, Oh, that's so cool. Oh my gosh, what? Okay. What? Sam is already taking the pilot seat. Oh. oh my god, it's so old. Oh, you yeah. Yeah. And now we are going back to the cable car, but before we are stopping at the local market, which is pretty fresh, it was open only one year ago, to grab some snacks. The borough is named after a city which was founded here in the pre-Hispanic period. Iztapalapa means in the water of the banks, referring to its position along the lake shore that was situated partially on dry land and partially over the water. It comes from Nahuatl language that was native language to this land in the pre-Hispanic era. Population of Iztapalapa is 1.8 million people and it's still growing, still counting and that makes Iztapalapa the biggest borough not only in Mexico City but in the whole country overall. It's just 
endless. Exactly. Crazy. Now we're, now we're in the state of Mexico, not Mexico City. At this point. After freeway? After freeway. Fifth question. Uh, what is the population of Iztapalapa? Just Iztapalapa. Two million, 1.8. Okay, first, first the After we got off the cable car, we got back on a subway to go back to Mexico City central location. On our way back, we had a little fun quiz about the facts that we learned throughout the tour. And we are going to end our tour in one of the pool areas. Came back to Central Park, here you can see. Whoa, can you? Bellas de Artes, right there. We're going to the bar. I think we're gonna try some pool cues. Previous tour we took, we've tried Pulkes as well. You can check out right here. To be honest, this tour was one of the favorite things we did in Mexico City while we stayed there for several months and we loved it so much, I cannot stop recommending it to all my friends. Our tour guide was amazing, we loved Fernando so much. Thank you Fernando for hosting us, we had a really good time. So thank you Fernando, it was great. I just finished editing this video and I actually, looking back at the tour, I realized that the thing that inspired me the most and amazed me the most is the effort that city is putting into making lives of people better there. Iztapalapa considered to be one of the most dangerous and poorest boroughs in the country and city by bringing arts and culture and education for local communities is actually lowering those rates and Honestly, it was amazing to see that they cared so much about people and to see that it actually works. 